Well, what makes for best practices when shopping for food? In this video, we're focusing more on the, the safety of your food than we are on nutrition or saving costs, although the three are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> I've done three videos on food safety and I'm going to include links to the other two in the description below. Well, that is if you're watching on YouTube. In the meantime, let's get on with the information. Now I find it's important for me to approach grocery shopping as an experience. One to be savored, enjoyed even. That way I don't mind taking the time to do it properly and in a way that will serve us best. Now full disclosure, it took me a while to get there though. But let's start with the, the fruits and vegetables. There's a lot to choose from so do take the time to inspect each piece before placing it in the bag. Oh, and while we're on the subject of fruit and vegetable bags, put each type of fruit or vegetable in individual bags, either the plastic ones available in the store or reusable mesh bags you can then wash between uses. Now this helps us to stop the spreading of bacteria from raw food to ready to eat foods. It's especially important to keep things like raw meat, poultry, fish and seafood and so on away from other food in your cart. Now if possible, label a bin or a bag specifically for those products so you can use it each time, after cleaning it of course. <laughs> Another thing to remember is to always check the best before date on any packaged products. By the way, when you're in the store, remember to pick up your refrigerated and frozen items last. That way there's less time for them to thaw out. Then, as soon as you get home, grab your frozen foods and get them in the freezer. Next, raw meat, fish, seafood, and poultry should come in a close second at being frozen. Don't leave them out for more than an hour in the summer or two hours at room temperature. So then what about storing food? Are there, are there best practices for that too? Well, let's look at first things first again. Keep cold food cold and hot food hot. <laughs> Always store cut fruit and vegetables in the fridge and refrigerate any leftovers immediately as bacteria starts to grow really quickly. Perishable food should be kept around four degrees centigrade, like at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, but not freezing. And for your frozen products, set your freezer to at least minus 18 degrees centigrade, which is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now put raw meat, poultry, fish, and seafood in sealed containers or plastic bags on the bottom shelf of your fridge so nothing can drip down on other food. Kind of makes sense, right? And always cook your raw meats and so on before their best before date, or at least within a couple of days of purchase. If you can't do that, wrap them up well and freeze them. Now I'll put a link to the recommended refrigeration and freezing times for different foods in the description below, and you'll be able to see that if you're watching this on YouTube. So now that you have frozen food, are there rules for defrosting it? <laughs> yeah, of course there is. There's three ways to defrost things like meat, fish, seafood, or poultry. One is overnight, in the fridge. Two, use a microwave. And three, place it in a sealed bag or a container uh, that is submerged in cold water. Oh, and as a matter of course, if you use the microwave, cook the food right after it's defrosted. Don't let it sit around. Now on to thawing large pieces like whole turkeys. Place them in cold water and change that water every half hour or so. Make sure they're in a sealed container. And once the food has been thawed, do not refreeze it. That also goes for meats and fish in the store that are labeled previously frozen as well. Hey, cook them, but don't freeze them. 
And for heaven's sakes, if you're in doubt at all about the safety of a food, please throw it out. It's not worth taking a chance. The reality is you can't always tell by its look, smell, or even its taste. So again, if you're in doubt, throw it out. As I said earlier, this is one of a series of three videos on food safety for seniors. Links to the other two are in the description below, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. So tell me what you think. Do you have other suggestions on, on this subject? And hey, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. In the meantime, please stay safe and enjoy your day. I'm wishing you peace, health, and harmony. Bye for now.